Hey everybody, um, this is going to be a quick update. It's uh, actually late, um, 9.43 actually. Uh, it's day 109, yes 109, on the CDT. Um, creepy tent video because Marty and I had a, a long day. Um, we, <clears throat> we hiked pretty quickly in the morning. And beginning of afternoon, I think we had 15 miles by lunch. Um, and we were about, I think, five miles or four and a half miles from a water source, which was a spring. And the next water source after that was, I think, another five miles. So Marty and I planned on hiking about 22 miles today. We were making some pretty good time, so we kind of discussed um, if we wanted to go a little bit further. And <clears throat> after we loaded up on water from the spring, because we were just going to load up on water and then dry camp, um, we got hit with a thunderstorm. Um, that's why <clears throat> rain jacket, hair's still a little damp. Um, but uh, so the thunderstorm rolled in, uh, it lasted. There were actually two thunderstorms. One was a little bit distance, one hit us. The one that hit us lasted, I think, about 45 minutes it rained. And then it slowly moved out of the area and uh, the sun came out. Um, <clears throat> we got to the area that we were going to camp and it was identified in our, in our app, our um, navigation app. And the site was... Uh, it was next to a road to a trailhead and additionally we had um i don't know if he's a, a rancher or um just a local but we had a gentleman pull up in a truck um he had a horse trailer with a horse and four dogs and he said hey just wanted to let you know you know i got my camper over there and this morning when i was out watering the horse um a uh, grizzly walked right by uh, our our site, and he said, uh, "I'm hope you know I'm hoping the grizzly went over to the other side of the valley, um, but it could be in the area." So, because the campsite or the camp area was next to the trailhead road, um, the campsites or the tent sites were uh, they were okay. We could have made it work, but meh. And then um, the fact that there was a grizzly in the, in the area, Marty and I decided to hike on. <clears throat> Unfortunately for us, um, the trail did a traverse. So instead of the trail going up and like over a saddle um, or a shoulder or something, and then going back down, the trail did this, just kind of undulated um but it was on a traverse so we were just on the side of the mountain just traversing around the mountain the unfortunate thing about that is um a lot of times you're doing a traverse because it's like the slope is steep and instead of like going up and over that mountain <clears throat> that mountain you can actually hike around it um but there's not really areas for camping. There's not flat areas for camping. So as we were doing the traverse, <clears throat> we kept like investigating some sites to see if we could camp there. And <clears throat> we, we couldn't identify anything that, that made sense. So essentially we kept on hiking and um, our 22 mile day turned into, I think a 29 or just under 29 mile day. And we got into camp at eight. Um, so like I quickly threw up my tent, uh, I filtered two liters of water, cooked dinner, um, stuffed my food into the, the bear canister, ate, um, washed my dishes, and then kind of threw everything. Um, I put my canister away, uh, like a little ways from the camp and then threw everything else in my bag and kind of jumped in. So I still got a, filter two liters of water. Um, I didn't get to stretch and a 29 mile day, I'm sure my body's gonna um, talk to me tomorrow. So I'll do a, a little bit of stretching in the tent 
which um, the water and the stretching are going to be the next two things that I'm going to bed. Um, so a little bit longer day than expected. Uh, frustrated because it keeps raining on me. Um, like four days ago, it rained early morning at Summit Lake. And thankfully, it cleared up the rest of the day. But since the rain had fallen, we hiked through some... Um, some of the plants and stuff like our feet got wet which my feet don't like getting wet and then um the next day we got into west yellowstone and while we were in town it rained thankfully we were in town um but it did rain and then the next day which was yesterday we hiked out of west yellowstone and got rained on um we got hit with the second second of two storms yesterday and it rained on us for a couple of hours um until we camped and then the rain kind of petered out and then today uh, we got rain for about 45 minutes in the late afternoon is around um i think it was around like 4 or 5 p.m today so four four straight days of rain um poor marty uh i think I think total he had like three or four days of rain before he started hiking with me and now he's he's like um he's had more than three or four days of rain just hiking with me um because i just mentioned the last four days we also hiked out of du bois when it was raining um it rained on us in du bois it it rained i think it was out of pinedale um where marty made a comment like because it rained during the evening the night and marty's like it rained because of you and it stopped because of me um and i think i think i'm missing one so like i said poor marty he's got more rain just hiking with me the last couple weeks than he got the whole trip so uh wyoming needed rain and it came with me uh montana needs rain and it's coming with me apparently so um hopefully the fires will stay away it's, it's a lot of rain if i take out my rest days i think i've been rained on approximately 30 days so it's like a third of my hiking days have had some kind of precipitation um there was one point today where i just threw <laughs> it was right after the rain stopped and I'm wet, like my rain jacket and my shorts and everything's wet. And I just like threw down my trekking pole and kind of bent over at the waist. And Marty's like, are you okay? And I was like, I'm, I'm just so sick of rain. I'm sick of rain. So even though um, like it may rain for a little bit and the rest of the days are sunny, um, like getting into camp with, with wet stuff is rough. Um, and then to top it off... Like, my, my shoes were damp. They weren't wet um, from the rain. And then to top it off, the creek that's right by the campsite, um, it wasn't a dry crossing. It was a ford. And uh, I tried to do a dry crossing, but it just it wasn't going to work. So I basically just had to step in and ford and get my feet wet. So um, not the best way to end the day. And... Um, you know, getting into camp late and rushing is, is also not the best way, but it is what it is. Um, not the, the brightest of updates, but, uh, that was day 109. Uh, I'm gonna let you folks go so I can finish my water, get a couple of stretches in and, um, get to bed. So, uh, have a nice evening and I'll talk to you folks tomorrow. Bye.